They sent me the script and I uh, hadn't read the book and uh, it was just a lovely story, um, kind of a universal story about kids that dream of a future that their parents have given up on and it's inspiring in that way. It was such an anomaly uh, but such a great story and such a inspiring story and that's kind of what attracted me to this script is that it's completely uh, viewable to any age and also inspiring. Uh, it doesn't rely like so many children's uh, movies do on uh, violence for entertainment or uh, uh, you know explosions. And it's, it's, it's a unique kind of weird world that, uh, that um, I think children will, will really be drawn towards. I play Dune's father, Loris, who is uh, a man who um, is a tinkerer, uh, an inventor, uh, and um, I think he kind of drives Dune crazy. Uh, he, he is, uh, Dune is asking questions. Dune is someone that wants to live in his imagination beyond the city of em Ember and dreams that there is a possible other world. Uh, my character's pretty much given up on that, as most people in Ember have. Um, however, I have a secret, and uh, it's part of what I think makes Dune who he is. When you are reared by someone that at one point in his life did have a passion for uh, what lies beyond, uh, I, I think I think you're able to uh, uh, the parent is able to p plant those seeds and I think when the movie starts those seeds have taken root and they're in Dune and they're um, he's uh, dreaming of a world beyond. Very talented and he's you know it's a, a mighty daunting challenge to control a production this large and to uh, work in a foreign country and uh, uh, inspire a, a crew uh, of people that have been in the business for a long, long time, longer than you've lived, longer than probably your father has la lived. And there's crew members here that could be Gil's grandfather and uh, grandmother. And, and, that's, and he's, he's up to it. I think he's, he's doing a great job. I've enjoyed working with him.